Hello everyone, this is St. Andrew's Episcopal Church. It is located on the corner of Lake Street and Park Avenue in Grays Lake, Illinois. It was founded in 1907, and next here is the original cornerstone, which was the original entrance to the church when it first opened. While the church has not changed much, there was additions added to it. These stained glass windows were part of the addition, and they are all in remembrance of the members of the church. And this was the original setup of the church. It hasn't changed except the pews were added. The architects of the church was from Carl F. Clausen. This is the original sketch of the church. Here are some important artifacts that were in the church. They have been here since the beginning of the church and they have been saved in this glass container, which is now located in the new edition in the library. Now here we are interviewing two people from the church. Okay, my name is um, Penny Clausen Lawrence, and I've I go way back. I've never been anywhere else for church. Um, it's been my church because my grandfather was the builder architect, so we just came along with the rest of the family. My name's Charles Pinkham, and I've been a Grays Lake resident for 10 years now, and I've been attending church since we've been here. My wife's in the Navy, so she's here because of the Navy base. Uh, so we've traveled around and seen the world, um, and I'm now the secretary here at the church. But I love history, and I think Grays Lake is a pretty neat village. I'm glad you guys are doing this project. Hooks and, and meads and, and many, just, I don't think there was really, there was a group of people that felt a need for an Episcopal church in Grays Lake. I, and um, it did fall down to a few, you know, different families, but um, to say it was one family, but yeah, hooks and meads and... Um, I can't think of the rest of them really, but um, older families in Grays Lake. And they met around at different places in the village. So some of the buildings are still wherever there was a place, they did that for several years. The original church is pretty still original. We added the addition and uh, you know, in the parish hall, but yeah, this whole wing yeah, here, exactly. and they purchased the rectory house behind where our new priest is going to live. But that's been a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah, but they've been. We've had that house. That was the Gary, belonged to the Gary family, and then they bought that um, for our rectory. So, but very few changes, right? As far as yeah, we're kind of landlocked much. here. Yeah, we're kind of landlocked on this corner. And what's so interesting is that two years before 1927, when the church was built, the ladies in the church raised the money to buy the lot. And so by big sales and doing um, handicrafts and things, they raised $1,000. So they bought this lot on the corner of Lake and Park Avenue for $1,000. Two years before, I think it was 1925, I think they bought the lot. So the lot was purchased before the church ever got built started. Yeah. Copper box is in the cornerstone and what's in the cornerstone is the history of the church to date, picture of the life history of Bishop Toll and that's Bishop Toll. He was um, the founding bishop so that is him. Yeah. 